What's up guys, coming at you here with another video review. This time we've got the third party Power Glide. This guy, I believe, is, I forget if it's Mach A Toys or Best Toys. I think it's Mach A Toys. But he came out along with Sea Spray. They came out at the same time. Um, so as you can see, this is a very obvious homage to G1 Power Glide. If you want, we can do a quick comparison. Here he is with G1 Power Glide. As you can see, roughly the same size. The third party one's a little bit bigger. Go this way. Some obvious differences are the uh, plastic here is much darker gray than the lighter gray of this one. Um, the red is a deeper red than on the G1. And it's also, it's also a lot better, well not better, but it's a lot different for the transformation. It's a lot more complex. Underneath, very similar. So yeah, let's get rid of him for now. So yeah, so to transform this guy, it's going to be a lot of, there's actually, as you saw in the G1 Power Glide review, it was basically pull this out, Rotate the wings, pull the arms out, and twist the head, and you're done. This guy is a little bit more complicated. Actually, a lot more complicated. But, so, to start with, let's start with the legs. So what you want to do is, there's... The knees are actually up in here. As you can see, they're up on an angle. They're actually bent in, and the legs pull out. So what you want to, and it's also tabs in right here. There's tabs here that hold it all together. Um, it's very a little bit on the loose side and a little bit finicky. So you just got to be careful with that. But you want to separate it there. And then accordion the legs out. And then separate the legs. So <laughs> right off the bat, we got something better here. He actually has two individual legs. So what you want to do next is lift up on the spoiler rear part of the wing here and then rotate this around the toe and this actually goes back not forward but you can't because there's a notch right here so you have to lift it up first so we see that again on this side I'm going to rotate it thusly fold that section back and now he has a proper foot very cool So, like G1 Power Glide, we can do the same thing for the head and just twist it around now. But this one actually, the cockpit is actually more de is actually defined in this. Now the G1, oh, too close. G1 doesn't have a defined cockpit. This one does, and it actually lifts up, and there's a notch that holds it in place. So you can rotate that around. Now we got the head, and as you can see, the head, the face is very 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 similar to the G1 face. It's actually got yellow eyes instead of black eyes. And the mouth is more defined. Well, not more defined, but it's more compact. This one's kind of like short and wide. This one's kind of narrow and tall. So the arms are very similar to the G1 where they twist, but these are actually independently these twist independently. They're on their own little hinges. And also, there's a notch here and a tab here, so when they they actually tab in together, so they're a lot more secure. So do that on both sides. Now the fists, I'm warning you, will probably fall off when I do this. But you just want to separate it, and then rotate it. Separate it, and then rotate it. Ah, mine didn't fall, they didn't fall off that time. Um, these fists really, really, really like to fall off. There we have stand. Cool. We have our basically our classics power glide. Now obviously it's not classics power glide since we actually did get a classics power glide, but for some reason, the guy was huge. He was like ultra class. He'd been huge. 
even five, six, seven times bigger than this guy. Which doesn't make any sense because the G1 Power Glide is itty bitty. But as a comparison, I'm just gonna real quick off camera. Ha ta 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 ha ta ta. Pull the da da da. Transform him real quick, just to get a comparison shot. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention in his review was his arms are very gorilla-like because of this double elbow. They're yeah, really weird, but whatever. So right off the bat. The arms are a lot smaller, and they're a lot uh, more in scale with the rest of the figure. You know, I don't have these huge grill arms on this short figure. I mean, he could touch his knees for, for God's sake without even bending. Uh, this guy looks a lot better as, as far as proportions, much better proportionate, uh, proportionately. The fi uh, 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 did it fall off? It fell off. It's just on a bowl joint. You can just pop it right back on. But the, unfortunately the fists are hollow, and this joint on the bull joint, like I just showed you, is incredibly weak and will pop off very often. And I just don't know where that fist went. Awesome, there he is. But I mean, like I said, it's just on a bull joint, you can pop it back on. Easy enough, easy peasy. But as far as posability, um, the head can rotate the same left and right, but it can also it also has an up and down pivot. Shoulders, uh, same 360 degrees, uh, in and out at the elbow, nothing at the fists. Waist, nothing, but pull jointed hips, knees. You don't get a full range at the knees, but you really need more than that. Kneecap, so it can't go forward. Nothing at the feet. I don't know if unless you count the twisting of the transformation, but I don't. So yeah. He is pretty awesome. Uh, as far as an upgrade, he is definitely a suitable and respectable upgrade to the G1 guy. Height-wise, in robot mode, if I can get this guy to stand up, there we go. Perfectly equal. You saw him in jet mode was a little bit bigger, but once you get these guys in robot mode, they're basically identical, height-wise. So I would definitely say if you don't have, I don't have the G1, the G1, the classics, proper G uh, classics Power Glide, the Ultra Class. Um, I'm looking for him, but not very hard. If I find him, cool. If not, oh well. I'm sure I'll find him eventually. Maybe I'll buy him on eBay or something at some point in my life, but as of now, I don't have him. And I'm totally cool having this guy. He's a total suitable, totally suitable upgrade to G1 Power Glide. But I think him and Sea Spray both were like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So it's totally worth it for the two pack. Um, sea Spray is also awesome. Maybe I'll do him soon too. But I would say if you're a G1 fan, or if you just like cool little toys, mini bots or microns and such, definitely pick up G1 Power Glide because he is awesome. Mostly because I had him as a kid, and whoever I had as a kid, I think is awesome. They so, and for some reason, the ones I had as a kid always stay in my heart. So Power Glide was definitely one of them. So there is. I'll get one last close up. There is third party classics power glide.